In this module, you will learn about the Rowlatt Act and the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, the success of Satyagraha movements in Champaran, Kedah, and Ahmedabad gave a boost to the morale of the oppressed Indians. Threatened by the growth of Satyagraha, the British decided to exert more control over public activities. As a result, they proposed the Rowlatt Act in 1919, named after its chairman, Sir Sidney Rowlatt. The Rowlatt Act was aimed to curb the political activities in the country. It equipped the courts with the power to detain political prisoners without trial for two years. Mahatma Gandhi opposed the Rowlatt Act by starting a peaceful satyagraha. He suggested a civil disobedience beginning with the Hartal on 6th April 1919. It was followed by rallies, strikes by railway workers and closing down of shops. To sum it up, the day-to-day -day work across the country was brought to a grinding halt. The British were threatened that this mass movement could break all lines of communications in the country and so they decided to suppress the nationalists. As a result, several local leaders were arrested and Mahatma Gandhi was prohibited from entering Delhi. In Amritsar, police opened fire on a peaceful procession. Angered by this brutal action, people attacked banks, post offices and railway stations. Consequently, martial law was imposed in Amritsar under the command of General Dyer. The event that took place on 13th April 1919 is always remembered for the most heinous aggression of the British. Unaware of the martial law, several villagers had gathered at the Jallianwala Bagh in Amritsar to attend a cattle fair on the occasion of Paisaki. To crush the multitudes of people and create terror, General Dyer came to the ground with 50 armed soldiers. He blocked all the entry points to the ground and without any prior warning, opened fire on the hapless crowd. The firing stopped only when the ammunition ended, leaving hundreds of people, including women and children, dead and wounded. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre triggered many protests, strikes and clashes with policemen and attacks on government buildings across North India. The British government dealt with these protests with an iron hand. They humiliated the Satyagrahis by ordering them to rub their noses on the ground and forcing them to salute the British officials. Finally, bombing of villages made Mahatma Gandhi withdraw the Satyagraha against the Rowlatt Act. The Satyagraha against the Rowlatt Act was successful but it did not reach masses in the rural areas. Mahatma Gandhi wanted a mass movement that would involve people from all religious communities across the country. This paved the way for the non-cooperation movement which was conceptualized by Gandhiji to bring all Indians together to work for a single national movement. You have now reached the end of the module on Rowlatt Act and Jallianwala Bagh Massacre. In this module, you learnt that the Rowlatt Act aimed to curb the political activities in the country and it equipped the courts with the power to detain political prisoners without trial for two years. In opposition to the Rowlatt Act, Mahatma Gandhi initiated a civil disobedience movement. Several people were killed in Jallianwala Bagh massacre in Amritsar. 
This incident had happened under the command of General Dyer.